What is going on my fellow geeklings? It is Scott Anthony Christie coming to you with a brand new video here on the Auburn Phoenix and today we have got another unboxing. Again we've got Z-Box and I'm not gonna lie the first Z-Box I had wasn't that great. It was okay. I mean nothing major in there apart from the t-shirt and the Hellboy little figure but apart from that very average box. Wasn't a big fan. I mean, that was just me personally. I, I saw a lot of other people got a lot of joy out of them which is absolutely fine. But this month's, I'm actually surprised at how early this came because to be fair, they said it was dispatched yesterday and they said it was gonna get here by Monday. And I thought, ah, okay. But woke up, it was outside my door. Brilliant. November theme, which is classics. Classics could be anything. It could be classic films, classic games, classic comics. I don't know. So without further ado, Let's dive straight into it. 1999 of the old Great British Pounds, depending how you're affected by Brexit. Or 1899 if you do a three month buck, which is what I'm doing, and I'm happy with that. So, let's dive straight into it. There we go, that should be undone. So, let's just see. Oh! Right then, so I'm not gonna look in the box, I'm just gonna dive straight in, pick something, and then see what we got. First thing, t-shirt. Ooh, lovely color. I do like yellow. And Oh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's going off the G.I. Joe TV show. Never watched it. Only relation to G.I. Joe I've ever seen is the live action films. Cobra is the evil organization going against the G.I. Joes. And to be fair, I'm really happy with this t-shirt. As much as I love the V for Vendetta t-shirt, you could tell it wasn't a custom t-shirt. It was just a standard t-shirt. Which I'm not complaining, but when you have custom exclusives, that is really cool. So first item, t-shirt, already off to a good start. Let's hope we get even better. Right, so I'm just gonna assume this is a poster. Let's have a look. Oh, ah, ah. That should be the thumbnail. Oh, ah. There we go. <gasps> oh, Pokemon, that, that, is, that is so cool. Pokemon Battle of the Century. Now, of course, Charizard is Ash's Pokemon and Gary's was Blastoise. I I love this. I love it. And to be fair, there is a space on my wall, so I've got to put it up now. Always grew up with Pokemon, like, well, pretty much every 90s kid did. Like, you had the Game Boy games, you played the Nintendo 64. What was it? Battle Arena? Pokemon Battle? I can't remember, but it was such a good game. Can't remember the name of it, but you see it everywhere for Nintendo 64. Even today, what we got? Oh, what else? Oh, I picked up two items. Can I look at the right hand? Because I crashed Bandicoot. As you can see, it's the classic TNT boxes, which were a nightmare. I prefer the TNT to the Nitro boxes. Those Nitro boxes were a nightmare to get past, especially as a kid. And of course, with the new game being out, which is fantastic, I'm so good to die out to sell it to uh, get some money behind me. But I'm definitely going to pick up a copy again because the remastered version is fantastic. It looks amazing, and it's so much fun. Second item I picked up, and... Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Limited edition coins, and... Let's see if I can get that in again. Jurassic Park. I mean, you can't get more classic than Jurassic Park. And I'm gonna be the one with an unpopular opinion. Jurassic World? Eh, wasn't a big fan of. I was just bored, not gonna lie. And, like, apart from the T-Rex fight at the end, I was just very underwhelmed by it. Kind of like with the Justice League movie. But, hey-ho, I'll go into that when I get um, my Justice-themed geek gear box. And taking it out of the box. Jurassic Park logo on that coin. And then, of course, we have 1437, which is the gate to the entrance. Which is really cool. Of course, Jurassic Park being 1993... Yeah, 1993, the year I was born. Fair play. And Steven Spielberg classic, household name, everyone knows Jurassic Park. And the sequels, yeah. Let's just stick with the first one because the first one was fun. And I like the first one. And the other three, assuming this is the final item, and Really? Really? Z-Box, really? Suicide Squad figures, which was the multiverse DC comic book figures. Great. 
but I had Joker, which was the one I didn't want. And my least favorite character from Suicide Squad. And this month, we have... Batman v Superman, which wasn't a great film, wasn't a bad film, it was just a kind of film. But of all the characters, Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. Oh my god, I mean, look at all the figures on you, like, you got Batman, you got Aquaman, you got Wonder Woman, Superman, hell, Nightmare Batman, you got like, the back creature from the Nightmare, and... I get Lex Luthor. God damn it, Z-Box. In this one, you can make Batman's grapple gun. And in this one, you get like the main body of it with Lex Luthor. Probably the only redeeming thing about this figure. And I don't think, he's not even that good of a figure. I mean, I don't know if you can see the face there, but he kind of looks like a soccer mother. If you give me a Wonder Woman figure, I would have loved you. Oh, we can't have it all. And, oh, well, we've got two more items. Oh, okay. And the final item, which I didn't see this, is a comic called Fighting America. Maybe this was like an homage and a tribute to like the classic uh, golden age of comics, like with Captain America, Batman, Superman, all that sort of stuff, like the American DC Marvel comics. But that's a really cool cover, so I'll definitely check this out. So, with that being said, let's have a look at what we got in this box. We have the pin, which is, again, pin I'm not really that fond of, but it's a Crash Bandicoot pin, so I'm really happy with that. I'll just uh, do that again so you can all see it. We got the Jurassic Park coin, which is really, really cool. I'll definitely have this on display. Haven't seen Jurassic Park in ages. I do need to rewatch it, so kind of got that struck my memory. <laughs> Lex Luthor. <sighs> the poster of Pokemon Blastoise vs. Charizard. Very classic, very retro, very nostalgic. Very happy with this. Cobra Dojo, I should say. 1984. Probably one of the highlights of the box. So, in regards to last month's box, a big improvement. Really happy with it. Love the t shirt, love the comic. The poster, the pin I'm happy with, it's all right, but a pin is a pin. Uh, the coin, very nice little souvenir. Figure is probably the least impressive in there because if it had been any other character, I would have been so happy. But I had to be the unlucky one to get Lex Luthor. That's two months in a row. If I get another figure in the third installment, I'm canceling my sus subscription if it's a character that I'm not fond of. So let that be a lesson to you, Zvox. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. Might be discount codes, depending, I'm not too sure. But I'll definitely leave links for the website if you want to give it a try yourself. So until then, guys, I've been Scott Anthony Christie, the Auburn Phoenix, and I shall talk to you very, very soon. Until next time, stay geeky, stay awesome. You rule. Ta-da, guys. Too sweet.